Lucas Giolito on for his 12th start. He's looking for his sixth win, his ERA. About three and three quarters. You look at strikeouts, you look at innings pitch, they're very good. He's got good command. Left-handers don't hit him at all because of that changeup. The kick, the one-two, swing and a miss. On a nasty changeup, he struck him out for the first out of the day. A yeah, great combination. You pointed out that he had set up high on the previous pitch, and then Collins set up low, down and away, and that's where he executed the changeup. No score, bottom of the first. Tarek Skubal, youngster, they really like him. He's on for his 10th start, his ERA a bit above four and a half. Over third base. T.A. likes the jerseys. He's on his way to second. It's a leadoff double for Tim Anderson, who's six for his last 15. Here's Nick Madrigal, hit his second Major League home run last night. Madrigal off the mound and into center. Follow the bouncing ball to a one nothing lead. I think Lucas is going to be treated to a lot of runs today. Two hitters, one run. But Nick goes right back up the middle. Like, this is how we're going to do it, boys. On get him out, we're going to go score. Two quick hits and a run. That's how you teach it if, if you're a White Sox coach. Tigers have the leadoff man on here in the second for Eric Haas. Uh-oh. Drives one to deep left field. That ball is gone. Eric Haas continues to beat up teams on the road. The Tigers have a 2-1 lead thanks to his sixth homer of the year. Well, this kid is pretty darn hot himself. We were talking yesterday about Jonathan Scope's huge night, but his home run is the home run that put him ahead. And what does he do today on a changeup? He sits on a Lucas Giolito changeup, and it's a mistake pitch, folks, right down the middle. When you get those mistake pitches, we call them cookies, you got to eat the cookie. Here is Harold Castro, left-handed batting shortstop. Madrigal at second base. Nice pick. Nicky's throw is there. Spectacular effort from number one. That's just a great play going to his right. Castro can't believe it. He thought he had a base hit all the way. And Nick with good range and then the one hop throw. But he got just enough to cut down Castro at first. Tarek Skubal goes to work in the bottom of the second with a one run lead. Faces Andrew Vaughn. That was a good slider right there. Strikes out Andrew Vaughn to start the second. Get ahead, you can make quality pitches. You can expand the zone here. This is the slider, back foot slider under the swing of Andrew Vaughn. And school will get strikeout number two here. 3 2, check yes, swing. Did. did he go? Yes, he did. Appeal down to first. Greg Gibson this time goes up with the right hand. Collins hitting 197, the 1 2. Got him on the outside corner. Perfectly executed slider. Derek Scoobal strikes out the side in the second inning. Good inning. Good inning. 2 1 Tigers as we go to the top of the fourth inning. Eric Haas with a home run. First time up. Gave the Tigers the lead. Some mad power sends this one to deep left field. No back way. goes forward. That's gone again. <laughs> He's unbelievable. <laughs> Two homer night for Eric Haas. And the Tigers have increased their lead to 3 to 1. You know, this ball is away, and he still goes out to pull it. Watch it. I thought it was off the end of the bat. It's a slider, and it hangs up there. But Eric just, again, what a great swing. The hands break free right upon contact, and this ball travels just far enough to clear the wall in left field. Third multi-homer game of the season for Eric Haas. Let's take a look at the overall performance from Tarek today. You see the variety of pitches that have worked. The fastball up, the slider down, the slider down again. The good slider to the left-hander. He's gone with that fastball. Ten strikeouts, like Shep said. And we're only one out into the fifth inning. Four and a third innings of work with ten strikeouts. Oh, and two on Yohan Mankati. Seen a slider and a fastball. Scooble pitch count climbing in a jam in the fifth. The 0-2 swing and a miss. He got him with a fastball up and away. 11th strikeout for Tarek Skubal. Three walks, 11 strikeouts, one run on four hits for the White Sox. This is the end of his day. Cabrera singled and scored in the second, grounded to short his last time up. The 0-1. Off Sounded the end of the good. bat. Sounded good. Right center field. Back it goes. It's gone. Number 492 for Miguel Cabrera. And the Tigers now lead it four to one. Just the way that ball jumped off the bat. Boy, 
It's bombs away in Chicago right now. The but, ball uh, is flying out yeah, of there, Jack. He he put a nice swing, and you can see the ball just jump off his bat. Fastball away. And see, that's what happens, guys, when you stay away with the big fellows, guys yep. that have power, they like to get extended. And yep. when you can get ex some extension, you can hit the ball a long way, and that's exactly what Miggy does here. That's a big run, guys. That's a huge run. Second and third, nobody out. And the tying run will come to the plate. Jake Lamb to right field. This will bring home two. And the Sox are on the comeback trail and storming down it four to three. Holland is lovely this time of year. <laughs> Jake getting his first opportunity to swing the bat today in because Hamilton hurt himself. He gets one out over the plate, takes it into right field, makes it a one run game. Welcome back to the ballpark, Derek Holland. And they turn it over to Gregory Soto in this inning. He will face Andrew Vaughn, Jake Lamb, and Zach Collins. The one two swing and a miss on that dynamite slider, 89 under the bat of a right. This is a big inning right here. We do not need to turn this lineup over. The one two. Another one down on strikes. Down in the bottom of the zone after going inside. This guy's seen a lot of pitches with two strikes. This is an eight pitch at bat already. Stroke to left field. Back goes Haas. Hey, hey. Has room. And Soto wins that battle with Mercedes. Chicago goes one, two, three. Chicago's last hope, Nick Madrigal. Don't be afraid to, of contact. Here's the payoff. Out of line to Willie Castro, and the Tigers win it by one. Well, he challenged him with the fastball. Mandrigo hit it hard, but it found a glove, and the Tigers found a win. They'll take it. Strong pitching, especially by starter Tarek Skubal, and another strong offensive performance from Eric Haas.